How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Foot 2005. Series 3 has released today, which means we get a bunch of new stuff, including new map decorations, new cars, which we already know about, new horns, a bunch of new stuff, and also a bit of information on Update 4 as well, or Series 4, which is next month in February. Today's video, we're going to cover everything new, including the map changes, um, some of the new collectibles and stuff like that, and then discuss Update 4 as well. If this video does help you out, guys, please do consider subscribing to the channel helps out loads but well, let's get into the beginning of series three now the first thing to showcase will be all of the map decorations if you go to the city or any of the towns such as the one on the right hand side of the map or the one where the winter wonderland kind of thing was there are now loads of new year's celebration lanterns scattered across the sort of the top of the buildings as you can see on screen this seems to be the only decoration that they have added however there are a lot of them if you go to the towns as i said they are scattered everywhere the city as well of course this means that all of the christmas trees have now been removed as of today we are now left with the new year's celebrations instead pretty cool to see that the maps are so changeable now and we're not just stuck with the same map for every season now some things haven't been changed unfortunately such as the festivals you may remember with the festivals there were christmas trees everywhere they have now been removed and nothing has been added instead the festivals seem to be back to normal now which is fair enough and the most disappointing one is the stadium the stadium as you know had an ice rink within it it was completely customized well now if you go to the stadium it's completely empty and there's nothing there even to do with new years now something else that's worth mentioning which i noticed and i'm not seeing anyone talk about is if you go to the festival playlist obviously we're now in series three you can find this challenge here which we can't do yet we can only do it in a couple of weeks there is a collectibles challenge in winter which says smash 50 floating chinese lanterns in the dunas blancas now the dunas blancas is a part of the map over on the left hand side and if you go there now there's nothing to be seen there's no decorations anywhere but according to this in just a couple of weeks for winter we'll have even more decorations added specifically over at the, uh, the sandy area on the left hand side of the map which obviously includes a collectibles challenge with it so that's very good to look forward to there are more decorations coming now obviously with the new decorations we obviously have the new accolades if you go to your accolades we've had these for over a month now these three haven't been possible until now as you can see the top one is obviously just visit the city with the um the new year's decorations which you can now do and then there's the other accolade which we can do this series but we can't do just yet because we need one of the big toyotas to do it in and then obviously the third accolade is for collecting all of the series three cars so remember while you've got the new year's celebrations and decorations on the map go and get these accolades done you can only do one as of today but go and get it done and then do the rest whenever we can now along with the new decorations and the new accolades we obviously have new collectibles and new sort of little mini bits as well such as the new car horns the new car horns have been in the list for a while now however we've not been able to earn them until now we have the tiger raw horn which you can earn in a championship from the 13th of january for autumn and there is the gong horn which you can get for doing the eliminator challenge again on the 13th of january in autumn this is what both of them horns sound like The other horn, which is a fireworks horn, which is a bit more New Year'sy, you can get for doing the photo challenge in spring, which is the fourth week, which starts on January the 27th, I believe. And then as of today, there are two horns which you can get, the Mexican traffic light horn, which you can get for doing the horizon open, and then the cat meow horn, which you can do for doing the photo challenge. Now it doesn't say that this is a horn, it actually says it's a Forza Link reward. This is an error, this is actually a car horn. So the cat meow and the Mexican traffic light horns are two horns you can get today as of the 6th of January in Forza Horizon 5.
There's new clothing and stuff like that, however it's difficult to sort of pinpoint which clothing's new. I'm presuming most of it's new, but I think people care a bit more about horns than they do the clothing. Back in Season 2, when we looked at the preview of Season 3, it did say that there was actually a new trailblazer coming as well. And when you first boot up Season 3, you get given a trailblazer which is up at the top of the map. So I'm presuming that this is a new trailblazer, which we can now do, as you can see where it is now. I'm presuming this is going to go away after Series 3 is over, but if you want to experience a new Trailblazer, there is a new Trailblazer there now. Most of the other things for Series 3 we already know about, all of the new cars, we already know what they are. I'm not going to waste your time with any of that, we're just talking about the sort of the new stuff that we haven't had full information on. Now about Update 4, if you scroll over on the Festival Playlist now, there is obviously a new Coming Soon section, and we get a bit of insight as to what's coming for Update 4 as well. As you can see, it says obviously Update 4 coming in February it says new cars so obviously there's going to be some new cars next month we don't know what they are yet we have new events again down standard but could be something interesting there's new country race suits which sounds very specific and oddly I don't know it sounds like an odd one that but obviously they put it there for a reason and then it says new competition no idea what new competition or any of that means I guess it's sort of a tease of what's coming. We're not going to know what's coming next month for a couple of weeks. However, we can expect some new cars and stuff like that according to what it says there. As for update three, guys, that's pretty much everything that we're going to have in our hands this month. The new decorations, the new horns, get them all while you can. Some extra decorations in a couple of weeks, which we have to look forward to. And just a bunch of other stuff, really. I have a video coming out tomorrow, obviously Friday, about some more leaked vehicles and more information on new cars coming to the game. Some of them are quite interesting. And then we've got another upload on Saturday regarding some tutorials. So we're back with the uploads again and now Christmas is over. Let's get grinding. Leave a like if you enjoyed, everyone subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content. And I'll see you all later.